Hello everybody and welcome back to Navesville Farm. I'm just finishing off seeding field number 20. I've been doing all of this off screen because as I said yesterday I won't be doing any more on screen as it is quite a repetitive job. But that is this field just finished, it's taken about half an hour to do. Once again I'm going to fold up the seeder and take it back to the yard. So today we're going to be, for a start at least, taking this back to the yard and then we're going to look at the cows because as I did say before we were going to put quite a lot of money into the cows we do need to buy a load more of them uh, we can afford it you might notice that the money has gone down since the previous episode and that isn't just because of the seed for the drill that is because we've had to buy field number 21 because if you remember this field has that weird area where it says you do not own this field in it and it was getting uh, really bad and I couldn't actually see the field so I had to buy field 21. It's a grass field, so it's going to be uh, quite good when it comes to mowing. We might even turn it into an arable field, not too sure. But it is just over here on the right hand side. But yeah, field 21 was £25,000, so quite expensive. More money, which we didn't really need to spend. But, you know, it's, it's the only way of getting around the issue. Going to put the drill in the shed here on the left hand side and then we'll drive over to the cows. Good. So I don't think we'll need the 820 again today. If we're going to use a tractor, it'll be the John Deere. So we'll just park this here and jump out. Um, but yeah, the, the amount of cows we have, it, it's okay but we really can do better. So if we run over to the cow field, which is just around the back here, then, well, I don't think you'll see any noticeable difference when we buy more, but I guess more might appear, not sure. If we run down here. Um, I can't remember how, how many we actually have. I'm gonna have to check, uh, but there they are. Let's just take a look. We own 30. They're two and a half thousand pounds each, so very expensive. But we can we can buy a lot more. There. I think we'll leave it at 50 because that's a good number. And also that has obviously taken another 50,000 pounds out of our bank account, which leaves us with only 28,000 or so. We can sell a lot of silage to get that back. And we are going to, but we do need to keep some for ourselves anyway. Now, because we've bought a load, it means that the amount of feed in here will, I, I think it will decrease a lot faster, so we're gonna have to keep on top of them more. Uh, but I would also like to buy some sheep. We, we do own some sheep, but like even more. Let's just take a look here and see how they're doing. So yeah, the cows are okay. They've got mixed ration, they've got silage. They don't have any grass, but that's okay. We've got some around the back. The sheep, the feeding trough is, I think it's relatively full. There's only 21 of them, so. It's not going to go down that quickly. The wool pallet is actually almost full. So I have to keep an eye on that. And then of course the chickens, well, they, they take care of themselves really. They're very good. Uh, so I think if we get some grass loaded up, we can give some to the sheep and also some to the cows. Uh, because for feed, they're actually doing okay. And they don't even require water on this map. So yeah, they're, they're pretty easy to look after. I just need to remember where I put the specialised bucket for picking up the grass which we've got in the chicken pen. I can't remember where I've put it. This always happens. One second I'll go and find it. Well, I haven't found it yet, but I've just gone near the chickens and there's plenty of eggs to pick up. Uh, I just had a brainwave, it might be here. Okay, it's not here. I was just thinking it might be at the grass pile, but no, I didn't leave it there. So where is it? Well, looking at our, our vehicle map here, it shows that it's right next to us pretty much. So I'm being blind as usual. Where is it? It must be here. Unless, of course, it's sort of um, flipped up into the air as it does do sometimes. And it's got stuck in a hedge. Hmm. I really don't know. Found it. 
So it wasn't actually in the place I was expecting. I, I thought it was over the other side, but no, I got it totally wrong. The front loader is here. It's spun around for some reason. The uh, grab is here. So let's just get, I think probably the John Deere, because as far as I'm aware, you can attach the front loader to it. There is actually a John Deere branded front loader, which would be better, but it's okay. Actually, can you fit one to it? Not sure. No, maybe you can't. In that case then, you're going to have to do what I always do and use the tractor which I said I'm not going to use again. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think we do need to add another tractor to the fleet. Just one more. Yeah, that's not ideal. We're going to have to move the front weight. Just so we can get the front loader. I think it must have been pushed or something, or maybe it spawned badly. Gonna have to push it slightly, I think. We're gonna need the front loader console, and then it should attach. And I think the small Marshall trailer should be good enough for this job. I would hope. Uh, I will check first of all though that it is compatible with the grass because I know that some some of the trailers and different attachments aren't compatible. It's this one here and oh no you can't. Lucky I checked. You can't even put it in the silage trailer so mm, that makes it harder. The other trailer we own is the Stuart trailer so I can check that and again, no, you can't. You can't fit it to any of these. So it looks like we're going to have to just take it there in the grab. Which is going to be slower, but it's still possible. I seem to remember this issue from before. And when we get to the sheep pen, I will buy some more of those as well. But first of all, let's head to the cows. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a slow job, so apologies for that. But again, yeah, at the moment it is just sort of um, finding a job to do and sticking with it because there isn't anything else to do. It won't be like this forever. When we're ready to harvest, it'll be full on. But just for the next episode or two, we're going to be sort of hunting for jobs. But they're all jobs which need to be done. Not like they're pointless jobs. Whoa, that is muddy. Right, let's just tip one in here because they don't really need it. The sheep do. That's interesting. It's grain. I think it's because it's a modded bucket, but at least it works. Mind cow! Whoa! Spinning tractor. I think we'll probably give the sheep two loads, two bucket loads, because they are going to need more than what the cows require, because they're not taking a silage. Talking of silage, we could probably sell the rest of what's in this pit on the right hand side, because we've just filled the one on the left hand side, and actually, yes, we do need to clamp that as well. So, once we've dealt with the sheep, we will clamp the pit and get it fermenting because I don't think there'll be much more silage on the map uh, because we, we've got what we need. There will be more grass work though. And also, this uh, nave's well extended. Loving the sound of that. Can't wait for that to be out. So it's a bit more of a, a scenic route to the sheep. You have to go through this field here, which we don't actually own. So that's weird. <laughs> we should probably buy it. Um, otherwise the neighboring farm is gonna think it's weird that there's always tracks heading across their field. And the sheep are just through here.
so let's get this put into their feeding trough. I always forget with the feeding trough for the sheep, which side do you fill it up from? I guess with the front loader it's not so bad because you can just sort of tip it in the middle. But yeah, I, I tend to waste a lot here. But that is working. It was looking pretty empty. So let's buy some more sheep. These are a lot cheaper. I think, as far as I'm aware, in the upcoming Knaves Will Extended, there is going to be the pig and the beef as well. So it will add a lot more to the map. And there we go, 60 of those, because they're a lot cheaper. The field is looking a lot fuller. But it does mean that the trough is going to uh, go down a lot quicker too. So for now, one more bucket load of this, one more grab load. And then onto the silage pit. Uh, I'm going to risk leaving the gate open, hopefully they don't escape in that time. And just out of interest, how much is this field? That's not too bad. Yeah, we, we could buy it. I think we will do. Because we're going to do a, another big silage selling session soon. As we're going to have to. If you are wondering about the modified grab which I'm using at the moment, the download link is below. You basically, you can't actually pick up any grass which you put into a placeable heap with the standard equipment. You have to get this mod and it took me a while to find it. So yeah, I thought it would be an easy thing to do, picking up the grass from a heap, but no, the trailers aren't really compatible. I, I'm sure there will be one, in fact, there might be, I think it's a Chrome Elm, Emsland, I can't remember exactly the name. Um, Emsland, yes. This should have... Yeah, there we go. It's got the compatibility of grass just here. In fact, it will take pretty much everything. So they're really universal trailers, these. We probably should have one for moving the grass because it's obviously a lot quicker. But at the moment, we can't afford it. And it would mean having three trailers, which is quite a lot for this farm. It's not very big. But it is good that there's mods like that out there. Really universal trailers is, is good. They're the same trailers which you use for the orchard, the fruit trailers. There we go. So, for the time being, I think I'll leave the grab on the tractor, along with the front loader. And we'll most likely use, use the telehandler to clamp the pit as it's already there. Not a bad machine for the job. So let's just jump out of here. Good sheep, they didn't escape. Uh, that would be a nice feature really. It, it might get annoying if you're a forgetful person, but in the future, if your animals could actually escape from the field and you have to round them up again, that would be quite fun. Okay, so let's just shut the gate as well here because that is our field now. I suppose we should have shut it anyway. More before because it wasn't even our field, but yeah, let's um, keep it shut. And the tractor, if there's space here, it can go here, but nope, no space here at all. So it's going to have to go just up here in this yard. It should be good just there. Okay, so down to the lower half of the yard. We'll jump into the New Holland Telehandler, get the pit clamped and get it fermenting. It's actually pretty full. We don't have a buck rake, it would be handy, but unfortunately, I think it only fits to the wheel loader anyway. 
this is 17% compacted. Having the bucket on should add some extra weight. I don't actually know if it would make a difference in Farming Simulator, but you'd have thought it would do. Wow, this telehandler is so dirty. I think we're probably going to throw it under the pressure washer. Well, not under the pressure washer, but we're going to pressure wash it. So that would be quite an achievement. 61% uh, done. We probably should have had it on a course play because um, it does make it a lot easier. Almost there. 99%. And there we go. We are done. So let's reverse it off. And then we're going to put the cover over. And then we're definitely going to wash the uh, telehandler. It's in dire need for it. So it's 30% full. 181,000 litres. That is pretty impressive. And that is going to... Well, I don't know how long it takes, actually. It's not too long, but it will take a while. Meanwhile, this should probably be sold. I think probably tomorrow we'll do this because there's a fair bit there. Almost 60,000 litres of fermented silage. Just worth a fortune. So if we get a, a wheel loader and a tractor and trailer and possibly a conveyor again, we should be able to sell it off pretty quickly. Just two trailer loads I think it'll be. It's a really good job to start off tomorrow's episode with. Notice I've hidden the pressure washer in the undergrowth because I'm forever crashing into it so it's right out of the way. Usually, it doesn't allow you to place stuff so close to another object, like the barn, but luckily there, it has allowed me to. And the bucket doesn't really need to be done necessarily, but we might as well do it. It's going through these mud holes, it really does make these things dirty. Yeah, that should do. We don't need to go over the top with it. And yeah, just park it down here, I think. There we go. And finally, we have just one more job to do in the Fent 512. And it's to spray field number 10. Because, well, I shouldn't really be doing it actually because it's already ripe. But the uh, weeds are they're quite bad, they're very invasive and it's going to be a little while until we're actually ready to do that field. So yeah, really we need to spray it. I'm hoping 26% is going to be enough. If not, then we're very close to the yard so we can fill up again. This field here is pretty good. No weeds at all. But for some reason field 10 is terrible. Yeah, look at those. They are really, really bad. It makes you wonder if I ever did this field. Maybe I didn't do a double dose. I don't think I did, actually. That could be the problem. But we've got the row crop tyres on, so it makes a big difference. We're not crushing even more crops. And it should be the right width. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And this is still on herbicide C. Again, we're getting the error. You do not own the field. That's because we don't own field 13. So that is another field we need to buy. Luckily, field 13 is very small. This is actually working really well. I 
and there we go it is empty so that isn't great but we can just go and refill it which is what I'm gonna do I might as well fill it up 100% because we're, we're gonna use it on another field anyway Gonna have to watch the money. We might have to stop it there, actually. And it's just the centre part of the field we need to do. The two headlands, if you want to call them that, have been done. Yeah, as you can see, it's really messy because when I first did the tram lines, I was using just standard tyres, so they were way too wide and it's crushing loads of the crops. Next time, it'll be a lot easier because we're using row crop tyres. So this field was a bit of a, a trial and um, yes, it doesn't look too good. But all the other fields I think are okay. Maybe with the exception of field number eight because it's so small. But that's working pretty well. I don't think it's crushing the crops too much. They seem to be going through. And when we get to the top, that'll be it done. And it should kill off those weeds. Okay, let's fold it up, take it back to the yard, and call it a day. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I know that we haven't done a great deal today. When the fields are all ready to harvest, it's going to be so busy. And actually, just talking about that, I think we're probably going to buy a Tucano, a class Tucano. Not to replace the Dominator, we're going to keep that. It'd be as well as, like a, a new addition to the farm. We can't really get rid of the good old relic. So yes, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, See you again soon. Bye for now.